Hello guys and welcome back to the Crazy Minecraft video where today we've been invited to go ahead and check out some brand new farms which I have a feeling Marco Frenny Zombie has gone ahead and placed for us. Thankfully he's gone ahead and given us a book that should go ahead and explain everything and I have a feeling these little tiny farms are these ones right here and we can go ahead and use any mob we want which I think is going to be perfect. Well let's go see what the book says and hopefully it should explain everything. Hello Naveed, sorry I could not join you today in building the most extreme farm. I have given you tiny farms who have unlimited resources. Use them wisely as you are limited on how many you can place. Wait, is that why they're there? So we can go ahead and get any items we want? That's going to be so great. But guys, before we touch anything, I do want to give a shout out to Jennifer as well as Cody for being members of this wonderful channel. If you guys want to get a shout out as well, all you're going to do is go ahead Press the join button below and very soon you'll get your very own shout out. As well guys, don't forget that the majority of you aren't subscribed yet. So head down below so I press the red subscribe button along with the notifications bell. Well what I'm going to do is go ahead, take out every single one of these farms and I'm going to randomly take out a few spawners which I'm hoping should be a decent amount. Let me take out a good amount of these lassos and let's start choosing our mobs. I'm going to go ahead and take out a few random ones. I'm going to do the Shulker, the Llama, the Evoker, the Cow, the Guardian, the Rabbit, as well as just do the Vindicator, then the Pig, the Phantom, as well as the Parrot, and let's just choose a few more random ones. Well, let's start spawning. I'm going to go ahead and do a few randomly, which I might choose... Let's do it right here. I think this is going to be a good spot. I'm going to spawn a Wooden Mob Farm, as well as a Stone Worm, then an iron one, a golden one, a diamond, an emerald, an uh, inferno, and then finally the ultimate mob farm. This is going to be so great. And then I'm guessing all we're going to do is go ahead, spawn the shulker, and good, take out one of our lassos. Ah, no, 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 no. And let's go and grab it. Yes, we've got it. And then we can just go ahead and place it inside here. Let's go see what happens. Oh, look. So we have the shulker inside, now inside our tiny farm. And I'm guessing once this reaches the end, it will go ahead and give us whatever shulkers make. Which means we have unlimited resources and we can last forever. This is going to be the best day yet. But let's not stop on one. Let me go ahead and do the pig farm, which I'm going to do right here. And cool. And let me take out another lasso and let's go and do this. I'm going to put it inside the wooden one because I don't think I'm going to need too much from this pig. I think it should give me pork chops and it's going to take one of the longest times. As you can see, we can go ahead and decide which one we can use best. For the two most basic ones, we can't use any hostile mobs and it goes ahead and gets faster and faster until it goes right to the end where it only takes 0.5 seconds to spawn mobs. And look, we got our first item, the Shulker Shell. Now this will just keep on going until it uses up the whole lasso, which I'm guessing is going to be one of the longest times yet. But I don't need too many of these items. Let me go ahead and take out the next one, which I'm going to do... Let's choose the Drowned, and let's go see what this one gives us. Whoa, this is so crazy. Okay, let's quickly go and get the lasso before it dies. Quickly, and perfect. And let's go ahead and throw it inside the Emerald one. This one is going to be really quick. And let's go see what it's going to give us. And look how awesome it looks. It's one of the cutest little babies I've ever seen. And there we go. We've got Rotten Flesh. Now I do know if there is some sort of rare reward that one of these mobs will give us, we will actually go ahead and get those as well. How about we go ahead and do the Evoker? I'm totally ready for this one. Whoa! Okay, quickly! Go, go, go! Perfect! And let's go ahead and throw it inside the golden one. And there we go! <laughs> ah! How about if we go ahead and try and use it on these? Let's see if this will work. I'm going to take out a lasso. Let's go and rush towards it. And hopefully we should be able to do this. Where is it? Is it? There we go. We got it. Okay, let me go and throw it inside. Let's do the diamond one. And let's go and see if this is going to work. <laughs> Yes, I can't believe we've achieved this. And now we're getting totems. This is the best day yet. I am kind of hoping that we're going to figure out what we're going to get. So we've got some emeralds right around there. This one doesn't seem to give us too many things. And we're now even getting golden ingots. But we've still got three more farms to go ahead and do. Nope, this one is not giving us too much. How about if we go ahead and do the Vindicator, which I'm going to do right here. 
and perfect. And quickly, let's go and get it. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to put it inside the most ultimate one. Let's do this farm, which is going to give us loads and loads of different types of items. And now we have unlimited emeralds. <laughs> this is going to be so great. And I can't believe how many we're going to have. I can literally stand here and we're going to get so many emeralds that will literally last forever. But I don't want to abuse this little guy. So what I'm going to do is go ahead. Take out, let's do a phantom as well as a fast lasso. And let me go ahead and spawn it right here. And let's do this. I'm perfect. And let's put it inside this one, the Inferno Mob Farm. And let's go see what the phantom would give us. Here we go. Is it going to work? Nope. It's not working. Sometimes it doesn't give us the items we want. Oh, there we go. We've got it. We've been given the phantom membrane. This is going to be one of the coolest things yet. And I do now start to need loads of food. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and let's spawn. Let's see. Is any Oh, the cow. And let me go ahead and do this one as fast as we can. Hopefully, this should go ahead and work. I'm going to do the cow. Let's go ahead and collect it. Let's put it inside the stone one. And now we're going to get unlimited raw beef. I think I'm totally ready for this. Well, I'm going to go ahead and spawn another farm. I'm totally ready for Marco Finney Zombie to pretty much have his own one right inside his house. Because I know he would love us so much if we went ahead and did this. So let's go right inside, which I'm guessing should have no furniture in. And perfect. Let's head upstairs and let me go and spawn this little tiny farm right around here. Perfect. Let me do some stone ones as well as uh, some wooden ones right next to them. And then some iron ones and then some golden ones. And let me just start taking out some random spawners and as well as some lassos. Perfect. And good. And let me go and do the pickling fruit. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's collect this one. And let's throw it inside the golden one. We're about to see what it's going to give us. And let's not stop there. Let me do the elder guardian. And perfect. Whoop. Nope. Okay, I think we've got it. And let me throw it inside the next golden one. There we go. We now have two wonderful little baby mobs. And if we keep on going, we can get a normal guardian, which is really awesome. Let's collect it. And perfect. Let's throw it inside the iron one. And hopefully this should work. Is it working? Oh, okay. The pigling is not giving us anything yet. But I'm sure it should probably give us some golden ingots. Oh, wait, we've got some wonderful items, but I'm sure this is from the Guardian. It's not from the Pig Link. Yep, it definitely is. Let me also do the Llama, which I think is going to be really cool. And let me go ahead and throw this one. Wait, it doesn't allow us to use it. <laughs> okay, it's the first mob that is not allowing us to do this. Come on, let us use it. I guess he can now stay inside Marco Funny Zombie's house and just live here forever. Let me do a mushroom and let's throw it inside this one and let's go and see if this is going to work. Yes, this is so cool. I can't wait to go ahead and figure out what we're going to get for the longest time ever. Let me take out a few more spawners. We only have two more inside here. Let me do the parrot, which is going to be really awesome. And then the rabbit. There we go. And we literally have only two more lassos. Let me use one. And then the second one. And let's throw them inside the wooden one as well as the stone one. There we go. Well, I think this is one of the coolest things ever. But sadly, I need to go ahead and check up on the other items. I need to rush back and make sure we're collecting everything. These unlimited resources is going to be the best thing. Quickly, before someone else steals our emeralds. I'm pretty sure it's going to fill up our whole invent. So let's rush back. Let's go see what we've been given. And hopefully this should work. Whoa, there's stuff everywhere. Okay, so we got loads of raw pork chop, which is only 14. We jump over. We now have loads of raw beef, probably plenty of shulker shells, so many totems of undying, as well as a few emeralds, some rotten flesh, some golden ingots. And then if we head round here, we now have so many phantom membranes and the emeralds. Let's do this. <laughs> And literally, we can just keep on walking over and over, and we'd have unlimited items. Let's go and check to see how many emeralds we have. Whoa, we now almost have four full stacks. Okay, let's rush back. Let me throw in all these items inside Marco Fini Zombie's chest, and he's going to be so happy to figure out exactly what he's been given. But I've still got a few more farms to go ahead and do. So let me throw these all in, and perfect. Let's throw these in us here, and let me take out this one. And perfect, as well as all these lassos. And let's start taking out a few more spawners. Now, I'm going to need about four more lassos. So let me take out eight different mobs. I'm going to do the Enderman, as well as the Wither Skeleton. Let's do the Tropical Fish, the Strider, 
And then let's not forget about a couple more. I, I can choose four more. Let me do the dolphin as well as the slime. And then let's do the panda. And finally, I'm going to choose a random one. Let's do the salmon. I think this is going to be a crazy one. Well, let's start spawning these items. I'm going to do the emerald one right around here with another one right on top. And then the diamond one doing the exact same formation than the inferno. And finally, the ultimate, which is my total favorite. And I can't wait to go ahead and see what mobs we're going to get. And I do think we should have enough. Oh, there we go. We got the lassos. Well, let me do the slime. I'm perfect. And even though it's trying to kill us, I think we should be able to collect it. There we go. And I don't want too many slime balls. So let me throw this one inside the emerald one. Let me do the dolphin right around here. And quickly, there we go. And I'm going to do this one inside the ultimate. And there we go. Unlimited raw card. <laughs> this is going to be so crazy. Now, let's figure it out. I might go ahead and do the panda as well as the salmon as fast as we can. Let me collect this one. I'm perfect. Let's go and get our poor panda. Buddy, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to collect you. And there we go. And let's go and throw them inside the emerald one as well as let's do this one right here. Perfect. Now, sadly, they are little cute mobs. And I do think we're going to get bamboo from the panda, slime from the next one, and then we're going to get some sort of salmon, I think. There we go. But guys, don't you forget, if I want to let these mobs go, which I can very soon, all I've got to do is go ahead, right click, and there we go. They are now free and they can go back to whatever they are doing. And they won't be harmed, which is the best ethical farming I've ever seen. And all you got to do if you want some more is just get more of these farms and you can pretty much have unlimited items. Let me go ahead and take out a few more. And let me swap these items around and let's take out the last few mobs. I'm going to do the Endman right around here. I'm perfect. Let's collect it before it teleports away. And let's go and throw this one inside the ultimate. Whoa, we're now going to have unlimited enderpearls. This is going to be great. <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, let's head back. Let me go ahead and do a strider. I'm perfect. Let's collect it. And good. And let me throw it inside the diamond one. I'm hoping this one's going to give us something really awesome. We're about to find out. Thankfully, the diamond farm only takes a few more seconds compared to the emerald and the iron. So it's not so bad whatsoever. But let's not forget to go ahead and do the tropical fish. I'm perfect. Let's collect it. And let's throw it inside the inferno mob. Here we go. Is it going to work? Come on. <laughs> We're so close. And I'm pretty sure we are getting string. I think that's one of the coolest ones. And if we rush back, I can go ahead and do the wither skeleton, which I think is going to be great. Watch out. It's going to be insane. Let's collect it. Let me go ahead and throw it inside the inferno, which is going ahead and actually giving us a crazy item. And there we go. Now we have a little baby wither skeleton. So guys, there we have it. You can literally go ahead and have a farm of every single mob except the llamas. And you can choose whatever you want. Sadly, we can only go ahead and do the ones we've done today. But I'm pretty sure next time we can choose so many different types. Like with the pillagers, the magma cubes, the mules. Let's even do the creepers. And as soon as you want one finished, all you got to do is go ahead, run inside. Let's just choose this one, the drowned, and let's just swap them around. So I can go ahead and spawn it. I'm perfect. Let me do the creeper. Let's collect it. <laughs> and then we can go ahead and throw it right inside. And there we go. We have now swapped our mobs around and we can start getting some gunpowder. Let's go and wait. There we go. Well, guys, I think we've done a great job today. We have unlimited items now, which is pretty insane. And I'm going to have to fight off some dangerous mobs later. So, guys, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe down below, button is red. And don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And, guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.